here to help us out with today's hot topics is internist and author of The Inner Pulse, Dr. Mark Siegel. He's invited me to be on Sirius Radio, the doctor's show, which Doctor you're, you Radio, run yeah. mm -hmm. um, I love that on show. Sirius XM Radio. I've done that. Well, welcome to our show. It's my pleasure. We're big fans over there in the radio. Well, were mm -hmm. you? you you've we done Doctor's Radio. Yeah. And how about That's you? Right. Yeah, I've, I've been a call-in. Okay. Call-in guest. Cool. Mm -hmm. And so one of the great things about that is that on Doctor's Radio, you get to talk <laughs> about medicine, health, just like we do on this show. But with your book, The Inner Pulse, you're really looking at medicine from a different angle. So... Tell us what is the inner pulse. Travis, the idea is that sometimes we defy the odds. Sometimes a doctor's writing us off too soon. So for years of hearing that, I said, well, but what is it that makes you defy the odds? What is it? And the thing that's most important, I think, is an indomitable spirit, a strong will. But it's not just that. It's connected to the body. It's a mind-body connection. It's a spiritual, physical connection. You can't predict it scientifically, but you can learn to recognize it. We saw it with Congresswoman Gabriel Giffords. We mm -hmm. saw how she somehow was shot in the head. Everything happened. That golden hour, right? She got, mm -hmm. to, the, she got to the trauma center, one of the best in the country, in Tucson within an hour. Some guy that took one course was holding her wound together. She gets there, and suddenly now she's recovering. Why? because she has a strong inner pulse. You can learn to see it. You can learn to get in touch with it. If you're very ill, you can learn to recognize it. If you how, access can, how can you do that? How do you get in touch with it? How do you strengthen it? Well, you know, I think that anyone that's been through a major illness that came close to death learns to recognize it. I said to a very, very well-known neuro-oncologist that dealt with, deals with brain cancer every day, I said, has anyone ever survived this glioblastoma? He said, I have 17 people. I said, what caused them to survive? Was it a strong will? He said, it wasn't the strong will that caused them to survive, but you know what they all have in common? They all have that, that inability to give up, that belief in themselves, that positive attitude. And so you learn to connect that, you learn to recognize it. Here's the problem, doctors don't listen to it enough. You guys do. I watch you, you listen to it. But you have to learn how to listen to it after years and years of recognizing it as a pattern in people. Patients know themselves better than we do. We have to learn. In the inner pulse, there's actually patients that rise up out of wheelchairs and confront people that owe them money. There's people in here that control blood sugars that you didn't expect could. There's people here that survive when everyone wrote them off. This is a very optimistic book.